Hi everyone, it's Hunter Moore, the CEO here at the Redwoods. We are an innovative, inspiring, and affordable retirement community in Mill Valley, and we've got some good news to share with you today. We're in November, and we still have no residents having tested positive for COVID-19. That's really good news, but we've got some other really good news to share too, starting with the Redwoods Rumble. Take it away. Hey, Hunter. We're getting ready for the Redwoods Rumble. Let's begin. Uh, we all have a lot to be frustrated about, right? So this is our chance to let out all that steam, okay? Let's all take a big collective breath together in. And let's rumble! Alrighty, wasn't that fun? That rumble is something that we're doing here before our outdoor concerts. We're doing it all around the community and hopefully it'll catch on to everyone in our community and maybe even you can do this at home and relieve your own stress. It's one of those things that we're trying to do to help address the stress related to COVID around here. And we're doing more too. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Katie Tiemann and John Oppenheim for doing some group discussions with people around COVID and the stress related to that, as well as thank one of our own residents, Grace Damon, who is meeting individually with residents to help them deal with the stress related to COVID and other things like the election, which we are recording this on election day and fortunately is behind all of you by now, but certainly added to the stress during this difficult period. In any case, we are also doing other things and reintroducing some things. And for that, I want to turn it over to Jackie. Take it away, Jackie. Thanks, Hunter. I'm Jackie, and I'm the personal wellness coach here at the Redwoods. Personal wellness coaching is an individualized visit tailored to each person's need and can include exercise programs for maintaining physical wellness and social engagement for strengthening cognitive abilities. And that's my good news. Now, here's Denise. Thanks, Jackie. I'm Denise, and my good news is that I'm the technology tutor here at the Redwoods. I'm teaching residents how to use their iPad, phone, and other technology devices. The residents are feeling empowered knowing they can use their device during the pandemic. And now, here's Sarah for more good news. Hi, everyone. We're excited to announce that our Splash Aquatic Exercise Program is back in action. We are currently offering one-to-one student-teacher ratio classes, personalized to meet your individual goals. Back to Hunter. Alrighty, I want to say a big thank you to Jackie and Sarah and Denise for all they're doing here to make things wonderful for the residents. And we're not quite done with things we're doing about COVID too. We have a new temperature screening tool that we're using at the front and we want to show you that tell you a little bit about that as well as the new emergency procedures video that we've got on YouTube. So with that, I'll turn it over to them. Thank you so much, Hunter. Our good news here is our brand new automated temperature screening machine. Let me show you how it works. One of the best features about this is that nobody has to get up and close to you and potentially put you at risk or you put them at any risk. After that, You'll come over here, write your temperature on the log, followed by one of the screening forms, depending on if you're a staff member or an essential visitor. One thing to note here is that you are certifying that you've had a negative COVID test within the last 30 days. Another wonderful thing you can check out on our YouTube channel is our emergency preparedness video.
Thank you so much. Back to you, Hunter. All right. Hopefully you'll see that video and you'll have a chance to know what we're doing here in emergency situations. Hopefully also we won't be in any of those, but remember the key thing to do is shelter in place, SIP. 99% of the things that would happen here, you're safest being here in your apartment. You won't need to go anywhere. The one thing you want to remember that we didn't emphasize much in that video is those red envelopes, they have your key information. And if something should happen to you personally, not related to emergency, that's the single most important thing to have. Now, I want to take it back to something different, an upbeat thing. And I want to thank Sherit for all her work putting together the COVID Imagination Cure Art Show. Take it away, Sherit. Hello, Hunter. Welcome to the Imagination Art and Craft Show. Isn't that great? We have some really wonderful residents here who are talented in so many ways and art is just one of them. We love celebrating that. And we celebrated that right before Halloween. We had some fun on Halloween too. And here's some good news and pictures about what happened here on Halloween. Take it away. Alrighty, that's a little bit of fun about what we did around Halloween and kind of in line with the theme for this Redwood Good News. There's a lot of stress around here and we're doing what we can to find ways to relieve that stress. One of the interesting things that we've been able to reintroduce that addresses that as well is outdoor dining. And I had a chance to sit down with our dining services director, Avia, to talk about not only the outdoor dining, but some fun things the dining team is doing that we can all look forward to in the months ahead. So with that said, let's roll the clip. Okay, so we're out on the terrace today to talk about the new dining outdoors that we're doing with the Dining Services Director, Aviad. Aviad, thanks Hello, very much. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. We are so excited that we've been now experimenting with outdoor dining for almost two weeks now. Right. You want to tell us the, the idea behind that and what we're doing out here with the residents behind us and what they're getting? Absolutely. Well, it's a very exciting time for our residents to uh, have some normality in their dining experience. Uh, so we opened our nice patio for everyone in the we have uh, a lot of residents joining us every day, um, between a dozen to a dozen and a half uh, every time. Um, we provide a very special menu um, on top of our regular menu. Uh, lots of interesting items that our residents really, really like. So Avia, that's great. You've said we can have somewhere between a dozen, 25, 30 people for our lunch. That's not very many. How does somebody know how they can get a reservation and come to lunch and join us on the patio? Okay, very simple. Our dining room management, um, they send invitations to all our residents at the Creekside, uh, and all they have to do is return that invitation with uh, a yes or no and their menu choices, and we'll sign them up for the days that we picked for them. If we have available seats, we allow other residents to call in and make reservations. 
including our Headlands uh, residents from the independent living. All right, I love all this food on the patio and it's really wonderful, but Aviad, can you tell us a little bit more about what people can look forward to coming up in the next couple of months from the weekly specials to the holiday celebrations as well? Absolutely. So our dining services offers uh, weekly promotions uh, that we s celebrate uh, an item and we make a special menu for that. On top of that, we have a superfood of the month um, that the chef is creating a special menu for that. Uh, a chef came up with a specialty beverage that we uh, promote every Monday on top of our hydration station. And getting closer to the end of the year, we have our fall holidays. We're gonna have celebrations for Thanksgiving, for Christmas and New Year's Eve, and of course Hanukkah, um, and that's it. So no matter what happens, Dining services taking care of the residents here and offering some really delicious options. I'm, I can't, I can't not look at this plate and make sure everybody sees it. That cheese and fruit plate looks so good. I'm looking forward to having this in and being able to dive right in. Thank you, Avia. Thanks to the whole team. You guys are doing a great job, and the residents seem to appreciate it too. Any just memory, memorable comments anybody said about being able to dine outside? Oh. There's a lot of them. All they want to do is just socialize with their friends and having those conversations while they enjoy good food. So it's very exciting for us to see that. And again, we've got things in place. We are six feet apart or we'd be wearing our masks. And the residents out there are all one at a table, six feet apart. And so they're able to actually dine without a mask on. Or even if they live with somebody, share a table with that partner, yeah. right? Absolutely. Wonderful. So it's going, it's going well, it's going safely, and there's new food options both inside and out to keep everybody happy. Yep. That's good news. Thanks Thank very you. much. All righty. That gives you a little sense of what we're doing with dining and some of the fun things that dining service team is doing ahead. And with that, and that word in particular, I want to say this has been a fun way for me to share, but it really isn't about me. It's about the whole team here and the residents here. And I wanted to find a way to let you know more about those people that are coming in every day that are really making the difference one-on-one -on -one with the residents. So I've asked the team managers to say a little something about the individuals that are coming here day after day, trying to strike that right balance between safety and engagement. So with that, let me turn it over to them. Hi, I'm the Director of Human Resources at the Redwoods, and I want to do a shout out to my team for the great job they're doing in recruiting and bringing in fabulous people to work with the residents here. I want to take this time to thank the environmental service staff and the maintenance staff uh, the transportation staff for all their hard work uh, during this year. It's been a very trying time with COVID, uh, but everybody has pitched in and done a wonderful job, and thank you all very much. Hi, I'd just like to give a genuine and a heartfelt thank you to all the staff working so hard in the healthcare center and the Creekside Apartments. We've done a great job keeping our residents safe from this horrible COVID virus. Keep up the good work. Right. I just want to say a big shout out to my EVS staff for doing such a wonderful job, uh, commitment, coming to work, um, short of staff, but everybody being a supporting cast. I want to really just say a big thank you to everybody in the EVS department. Thank you very much. Hi. Admissions is a small team at the Redwoods, but we have a big part to play in relaying the spirit and the story of the Redwoods to our guests every day. We do limited in-person tours right now, of course, wearing our facial coverings and we stay outside of the buildings, but we're also on the phone all day long with families and prospective residents, and then we're helping residents with the transition of moving to the campus. So I just want to thank the admissions team from the bottom of my heart for everything that you do all day, every day, week after week and month after month. It's great working with you. I just wanted to say a special thanks and a shout out to the fund development team. We're a small but mighty team, but we had a really successful fiscal year 20 and already fiscal year 21, the month of October was one of the best years we've ever had. So thank you to our team. Hi everyone, I just want to give a shout out to my nursing team in the healthcare center. I want to say thank you for all that you do. I know it's the pandemic, but we're doing it. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. 
All right, I have a little bit of time to talk about all of the management team here who have been doing a fantastic job, not only before COVID, but especially during COVID, putting in extra hours, doing different kinds of work that none of us ever anticipated and all without a single complaint and putting in a lot of extra time to try and create a great environment for you. I can't say it enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to give a shout out to my team. So I'm absolutely proud and thankful um, for the RLA Creekside team. They've displayed so much heart um, during a very tough season. Despite of the health risks today, um, day after day, they decide to come to work um, and care for our residents. To my fabulous team, thank you so much for your dedication and the full hearts you bring every day. All of you were able to tackle and succeed at any difficulties that came your way and you all did it with smiles on your faces. There's never enough Johnny Donuts, bagels, or soul food that I can give to show my gratitude. I'm so blessed to be on your team. To the fabulous program department, thank you. From day one, we knew it was not just our job to help keep COVID out of the building, but we knew it was our job to also make sure people stayed engaged so they would not suffer from the decline of isolation. And you, every day, every one of you have brought new ideas, creative vision, programming, classes, exercise, music, so many things that have kept our residents engaged. And for that, I am so grateful. And in doing that, you've also brought not only the best out in yourselves, but you brought the best out in each other, which makes you a great team. And for that, I, it makes my day so easy. It makes coming to work such a pleasure. There's no other group I'd rather be in this pandemic with. So I thank you for doing your best, for bringing out the best, and for being the team that you are. Thank you. Hey, this is Avia, Dining Services Director for the Redwoods. I wanna thank my team, my managers, my front of the house and back of the house team. They're doing a great job every day, coming to work, throughout this time and delivering great meals to all our residents. All right, I'd like to really thank the finance team for all of our on-time payroll, our vendor payments, our financial statements, and our bills to our residents. It's a great team, they have a lot of heart, and we know that things are going well when things are quiet in finance, and things are quiet. I also really wanna thank our new HR team and that we're working through a lot of issues really appreciate your heart and your hard work. I also want to thank our IT team, also working through some quick challenges, and thank you for your hard work. A big thank you to the, the Independent Living Social Services team of two for all the work that goes into caring for our residents and supporting their families as we keep them safe during the pandemic. Alrighty, that's a little bit of thanks to all those wonderful people that are working here every day to create that balance between safety and engagement for all of those who live here and work here. And I can't think of a better way to end episode four of Redwood's Good News than that. So with that, I will say aloha and see you later.